Hey everyone, it's Dion with Racers360. Today we're gonna to be talking about weight transfer and we're gonna do it in under 60 seconds. It's one of the most important things to know about as a race car driver on the racetrack. So I've got 60 seconds on the clock here. Let's go ahead and start diving into weight transfer. So the first thing that we need to really know is we wanna steer the car with our feet. And the reason why that happens is because as we accelerate, the weight transfers to the back. As we brake, the weight transfers to the front. What you have to know is that where the weight is, is typically where the grip is. So what we've got here to try to walk through this is turn two at Laguna Seca. What you can really see here is the green means throttle, yellow is transition off the brakes, red is hard brakes. Notice how our green only really starts out over here, only starts as we're ready to unwind the steering wheel. The reason that we want to delay it so long is because of weight transfer. If you were to get the throttle earlier, let's say apex one, you're going to be taking weight off the front end. And because you're taking weight off the front end, you're taking grip away from the front end. But notice how if you're trying to get the throttle here, there's still a lot of turning to do. You're not going to be able to turn because of that understeer that you're inducing into the car with weight transfer. So that was weight transfer in under 60 seconds. Important to know every time that you press the pedal every time you turn the car the weight transferring you've got to be able to manage that to optimize your grip on the racetrack that's been the really quick racers 360 weight transfer segment if you're looking more go to racers360.com look at our education tab tons of free content there uh and we'll see you next time